Hey guys, Shane Stars with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install the clean ROM for the Verizon Galaxy S4. Now this should be pretty simple. There are a few prerequisites. So you'll need to have a rooted Galaxy S4. I'll try to include a link in the description on how to root the Galaxy S4. Once that's finished, you'll need to make sure that you install a Loki hacked recovery like TeamWind Recovery. Uh, or Clockwork Mod Recovery. The easiest way to do that is once you're rooted, install the Goo Manager application from the Play Store, and then you'll be able to flash your recovery from there, and it is already pre-hacked with Loki. So once you've done those things, you'll head to the link in the description and download the Clean ROM. You don't have to worry about any G apps because they're pre-included in the ROM itself. And then we'll just boot into recovery, so we'll power down. Once we're fully powered down, uh, we'll go ahead and boot into recovery. Okay, so once you're powered down, you just simply hold the power up. You simply hold the volume up and power button until you see the text on the screen there in the mm -hmm. corner. Once you see the text, you'll just release the buttons and that should boot you into recovery. Okay, from here, you're going to back up your ROM. So uh, if you want to back up your ROM, say you get the clean ROM installed and for some reason it's just not working out and you'd like to go back to the way you started, uh, you could simply just hit restore and you would have your backup to choose from there. So to back up, you'll just click the backup button and you will swipe to back up. It takes about 10 minutes because what you're doing essentially is backing up the entire ROM. Uh, so any applications that you have saved, any app data that's saved, text messages, emails, telephone calls, all of that stuff will be saved. It'll be just the way you had it before you installed the ROM. So it's always a good idea to go ahead and do an Android backup. So once your backup's complete, you go into wipe and you'll wipe your data, cache, and Dalvik. It does everything all at once. So we'll go ahead and wipe that. Once that's finished, we'll go back and we'll go to install. Go to your download folder. If you download it directly to your phone, that's where it'll be. And then you're looking for the clean ROM. Latest version is 1.6. When that, uh, once you find that, be sure to verify that and you can swipe to flash. When everything is finished, you'll just go ahead and reboot the device. I will do a full ROM review on the clean ROM very soon. But basically what this is, is stock TouchWiz uh, with most of the theming removed. So it's going to look and feel like a different ROM, but you're going to have all the functionality that you had before. You'll see that the boot animation has been changed here. Uh, and there's a lot of changes like that that just give your phone a new look and feel. Most of all, the clean ROM has lots and lots of performance enhancements and tweaks. And specifically, I've noticed an improvement in my battery life. Uh, so first of all, there's no lag at all in the clean ROM. And of course, we'll discuss more of this in depth with the full ROM review. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. If you want to find more of me, you can do so at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.